I took a chance on Money Monster. This was something that I wasn't particularly sure if I was going to be into, and I thought the trailer looked interesting enough, so I decided to give it a shot, and thankfully it was pretty good. The movie's about a guy named Lee Gates, played by George Clooney, and he has this show called Money Monster. He gives stock tips and is very flamboyant in doing so. A guy breaks into the set with a bomb and a gun and threatens to shoot George Clooney if uh, he doesn't give him airtime. And while he's on, he's talking about how there was this massive financial drop and he lost everything that he had. And it was all due to this glitch in this financial software. The majority of the film was the back and forth with Clooney and the guy who's taking him hostage and Julia Roberts, who's playing his producer. And it's kind of the three of them going back and forth. And then occasionally uh, they're going to the police that are trying to get a hold of the situation and whatnot. Uh, one of the cops is Giancarlo Esposito, who was Gus on Breaking Bad. So the cast was really strong. There were some great actors doing this. And Clooney, I'm not a particularly big fan of a lot of his movies, but I think that he always gives a great performance. And I thought that uh, he was really good in this. And Jodie Foster directed this. I had no idea until the ending credits. I know it's not her first time directing, but it's the first movie that she's done that I was actually interested in. And she did a really good job. The movie was tense. It flowed very well. It uh, never felt slow. It was good. The ending was somewhat predictable, but I wonder if that was more due to it being predictable or that the trailer showed way too much of the movie. I mean, the trailer really spoiled a lot of things. So if you haven't seen the trailer and uh, you think the concept kind of sounds interesting, I'd say check it out. Just avoid the trailer because they showed some major parts in the trailer that I would have liked to have not known going in. The downside of the movie is it feels like it came a little too late. Uh, if this came out maybe five years ago, you know, closer to when the housing market took a nosedive, I think that it probably would have been a little bit more impactful back then. But uh, now it's still a well put together movie, but I don't think it has as much weight as it probably would have back then. Money Monster is entertaining. It doesn't do anything particularly unique, but the things that it does, it does very well. What's the saying? It's not the destination, it's the journey that's important. And that really comes into play here because it's not a twisty, turny kind of movie, but there were a lot of unexpected things that happened. There were a few times where I was sure I knew it was going to happen and then it completely went in a different direction. And I like that. I thought that was cool. I wouldn't rush out to the theater to see it unless you're really into um, hostage thrillers. But this will make for a very good rental.